Today we're checking out the combination preamp and direct box from a company called Amumu. This is the Glorifier. This is a great product to have if you're running an acoustic instrument with a pickup, whether it's active or passive, whether it is a body transduction system, an undersaddle piezo, or even a magnetic pickup. Uh, if you're playing acoustic guitar, violin, banjo, mandolin, uh, any acoustic instrument, something like this is great to have for all musicians. So first and foremost, I want to respect your time. As always, the links and uh, the timestamps are in the description or in the time bar here. Uh, so you can skip through and find a more relevant section of the video. This is going to be split into three parts. So the first section, let's talk about the features of this specifically. Second part, we'll talk about some of the features that more expensive uh, alternatives to this product have that this one doesn't. And then lastly, we're going to do some playing samples, actually. We'll get a chance to hear what the preamp sounds like on its own without the EQ. And then we're also going to hear how the three band EQ uh, can be very useful in improving the sound of the pickup from your acoustic instrument. So first things first, you'll notice it does have three band EQ here for bass, mid, and treble. It has a gain knob. When you're setting this up, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is find the setting, play your loudest sample, and set this gain control as high as possible without it distorting. That's gonna ensure that you're getting the best signal to noise ratio and overall just the best sound out of this unit. Then you're gonna set your EQ to taste, whatever kind of sound you're looking for to improve the sound of the pickup. And finally, the master volume to of course control how much signal you're actually sending to the front of house. Now this has a single input here with two outputs. So we have a through. After the preamp and the EQ section, you can continue on with an unbalanced TS signal. This would be great for running additional guitar pedals or if you wanna run your own uh, monitor on stage, uh, like an acoustic amp, you can have control yourself over what frequencies you need to boost or cut to ensure that you're not getting feedback. You can control maybe some reverb on that acoustic amp. It can be a very useful thing to have a secondary output. Uh, as I mentioned briefly, you could run a secondary signal off of this. So if you're someone that wants to run, for instance, a wet, dry rig setup uh, with an acoustic instrument, you would have your dry signal coming through this balanced XLR output being sent to front of house, uh, and then the unbalanced through would continue on to reverb, delay, modulation, whatever signal uh, you want to affect your acoustic guitar with, uh, and then you would send that to front of house also, and that the, the engineer can then decide how much he's going to blend in to get the best sound. The XLR output on the back, however, is what you're going to want to use most of the time. This is going to take your high impedance signal from your pickup, convert it, and track it consistently to output a low impedance signal. It's also going to balance it so that when you send to front of house, you're not picking up any additional noise and you're getting the best possible signal there. You might have also noticed the phase switch up top here. This can be useful for a number of different reasons. The first one that comes to mind is if you're someone that wants to blend a mic'd signal from your guitar in parallel with a direct output from a pickup. Uh, depending on the microphone and the distance from the mic from the source, you could experience uh, some phase cancellation. So having a simple switch at your feet is very convenient for that. The phase switch can also be useful uh, if you're using live monitors in front of you and you're experiencing some feedback in a certain frequency range. Give it a, give it a shot, flip the phase switch and see if that improves things. It might cancel out the frequencies that are building up. Lastly, you can power this uh, with three different methods. You can, first of all, uh, it does take a battery, which is very nice, that's convenient. You can power it on a pedal board as you would any other guitar pedal with a standard nine volt DC input. Uh, and lastly, this is also uh, very useful. You can actually power it with phantom power from the console. So just tell the person working sound that you need a 48 volt uh, phantom power supply to run this pedal uh, and it'll power up normally. Now to the second part of the video, for a few features that this pedal might not have and why it might or might not be a deal breaker for you. So this pedal does not have an effects loop. Why would you use an effects loop? That would be useful if you're someone that wants to run uh, external guitar pedals like reverb delay chorus as I mentioned earlier uh, and you wanna run that just in one signal path uh, with your dry sound. Uh, an effects loop can be useful for that, though it's not a deal breaker. You could just run the pedals into the front of the preamp. Keep in mind, in that case, the sound of the reverb or the sound of the delay unit is gonna be affected by the three band EQ here. The other thing you might notice this pedal is missing, and I did get in contact with the company to ask uh, what's going on here, is that it's, it simply doesn't have a ground lift. Uh, and so they claim that they have uh, created a, an intelligent circuit that senses whether or not you need the ground lift and it applies it automatically. Uh, so that's cool, you'll never have to worry about that again. I've personally gigged this twice, had no issues. I lent it to a friend for a few weeks, he gigged it five or six times, 
no issues again. And specifically in this room in my studio, uh, I have two electrical circuits. And I know for a fact that if I plug my pedal board into one and my interface and my computer into the other, I experience a ground uh, lift issue where I need, to, uh, I need a direct box with a ground lift on it. I tried that situation specifically with the glorifier and there was no issue. So it seems like it's working reliably. Having a ground lift on a direct box is one of the big selling points of a direct box. And so the fact that there's no ground lift, I just wanted to mention that briefly anyway. Now, before we get into the playing samples, I just wanted to mention if I skimmed over something too quickly or if there's a specific question you have about this that I haven't answered yet, just leave me a comment down below. I'm usually pretty good at getting back to people. So to talk about the playing samples portion, what we're going to do first is test the actual preamp uh, and the balancing and how that is going to improve the sound. So without the EQ controls at all, we're going to test what a passive piezo pickup sounds like going direct into an interface or a front of house console. Uh, and then we're going to compare it back to back the playing same playing samples uh, with what that sounds like going through the preamp doing the high to low impedance conversion and also balancing the signal. How a preamp and direct box can just improve the sound of your guitar without even getting into equalization. For this, I'm using my new Eastman E20 OM, uh, which is a, a Martin OM28 style guitar, and I have three contact piezos on the underside of the guitar. I've talked about this a lot lately. I just feel like you get a much more authentic sound. And if you want to learn a little bit more about this pickup, there's going to be a video linked up here. Let me know what you thought of that. Is a preamp DI worth it just on that basis alone? In this next section, we're gonna explore the three band EQ. You should know that when it's pointed directly up, there's no boosting or cutting happening. Uh, and so first thing we're gonna do, explore the range of each of these three knobs. Uh, and then later we're gonna explore some kind of recommended settings that you can use and maybe use on your own instrument if you buy this. Uh, there's just gonna be a link in the description, by the way, if you wanna read a little bit more about it. Uh, and just kind of come up with some ways to get the best possible sound out of your acoustic instrument. If you're enjoying this video so far, do me a favor, hit the like button, maybe consider subscribing to the channel. It'll hopefully promote this video to more people and hopefully together we can just kind of create a, a community for acoustic musicians. Uh, this channel is all about guitar gear and figuring out what the best equipment is for you in any situation. <laughs>
So there it is, the combination preamp and direct box from Mumu. Let me know what you thought of it, and if you have any other recommendations for similar products or any other cool acoustic gear that I should check out on this channel, that's really what this whole thing is about, just finding the best strings, uh, pickups for acoustic guitars and stuff like that. Uh, so maybe consider subscribing if that's up your alley. I should mention that Mumu reached out, they sent this to me so that I could do the demonstration and share how it works. Uh, and what the use of it would be for any situation. Specifically, this was not meant to be a shootout against other comparable products. I just wanna kinda mention what this has to offer and how I've found that it works. So just keep that in mind. Again, the link is in the description if you wanna purchase it or read a little bit more. Uh, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.